Did you know the national debt is nearly $28 trillion? And that 20% of that was added in the last year? The yearly interest on that is $700 billion. Twice what our income from interest is, and more than the entire defense budget. No one cares. Literally no one in the world cares. Fine, I'll bite. What? Why are our interest rates so high? Thank you. They aren't. At 2.5%, interest rates are a good deal lower than the historic average of 6%. If it were to return to that, we would be paying 1.7 trillion per year, or nearly half of all the federal government's tax revenue. Half? Is that really possible? It's not just possible. At our current rate, it's inevitable. Even if interest rates stay where they are, we have at most 35 years before they consume half of all federal tax revenues. Yeah, I'll be dead by then. But it won't take 35 years for this to become a serious problem. A massive chunk of our debt is owed to the Social Security Trust Fund. Every time Social Security is well funded, the government borrows that money and spends it on other stuff. In part because we've taken so much, the Board of Trustees says that the Social Security Trust Fund will be insolvent within 15 years. At that point, workers will have to pay 20% more in payroll taxes, or retirees will have to take a 20% cut in benefits. Whatever. I'm surprised you guys don't care about this more. It seems important. It's the least of our concerns right now. Look what's happening on the news. Who cares about the national debt? <sighs> Lately, we've spent a lot of time talking about radicalization at the fringes. And that's really important. But some of our most dangerous ideas come from the mainstream. Like the idea that it's okay to rack up trillions in debt. Neither side is doing anything to stop this. If radical fringe groups cause $220,000 worth of damages to every citizen, we'd lock them up and throw away the key. But the federal government has foisted $220,000 worth of debt and counting onto each and every one of us, and we treat it like an afterthought. So you're saying you don't care about these lunatics? No, I'm saying the most dangerous ones are in Washington. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.